Look, right now, uh, while you're looking at this on your screen in your hand or on your computer, there's somebody just like you who's sitting in a prison cell. And they didn't do much more than you did, you know, some crazy weekend. You didn't get caught. They got caught. And they can never get uncaught. The United States of America is now the number one incarcerator of human beings in the world, in the history of the world. Uh, we have about 5% of the world's population. We have 25% of the world's prisoners. Um, we are, we have more people locked up than China. China, who has a billion people, they got fewer prisoners than we do. You know, a lot of times people say, well, if you don't want to do the time, don't do the crime. Really? Have, have you ever committed a crime? You got people who are doing more drugs in on college campuses, in uh, uh, yacht clubs, country clubs. We all know that's going on, but the SWAT team never shows up there. The SWAT team shows up in the housing projects where you got poorer people doing fewer drugs and those people go to prison. But think about it. What if one of the times when you were breaking the law, when you had something illegal in your pocket, in your car, at your party, the police had kicked in those doors, would you want to be known for the rest of your life based on what happened that night? That is what is happening to millions of people. If rich folks' kids get in trouble, they go to rehab. Poor folks' kids get in trouble, they go to prison. And you spend $100,000 per year per kid to lock a kid up. When you could have spent a fraction of that and turned them into a NASA scientist, turned them into a, a, a fashion icon. When people come home from prison, they're not given the opportunity to start over. You leave a physical prison and you go into a social prison where you can't get a job, you can't get a student loan, you can't rent an, rent an apartment. How are people supposed to start over? And what happens to neighborhoods when you take a disproportionate number of people out for minor offenses and you send them back home with no hope and no opportunity? There are no more excuses to have this horrible system continue when there is now finally bipartisan agreement that it is a tragedy to do this. Not only do you have President Obama and the Democrats, you now actually have uh, people like Paul Ryan, Koch Industries, Newt Gingrich, all saying the same thing. We are locking up too many people, we're wasting too much money, we're, we're wasting too much genius in America, and it's time to do something.